So with the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, opening this past weekend to $450 million at the box office globally, $205 million uh, domestically, you would think the folks over at Marvel Comics would try to capitalize on the success, the popularity, the buzz of Deadpool and Wolverine. But yet, they would rather put propaganda over profit. I mean, I don't know about you, but as a business person, I got to make money to stay in business. And if I'm going to choose propaganda over profit, no matter how, how storied of a company I am or what my lineage is, if I'm not making money, I'm not surviving. So I caught this article over at the Fandom Pulse. With Deadpool and Wolverine movie success, Marvel Comics gender and race swaps Deadpool to kill potential comic sales. Yeah, so this past weekend, I guess this happened at San Diego Comic Con. Um, Marvel announced they'd be killing the classic Deadpool character. That would be Wade Wilson. Right as the film comes out. Don't the comics people and the cinematic universe people, don't these people talk to each other? Don't these people communicate? This is one dumb move. Of course, it's one of many dumb moves done by Marvel in the last few years. As the article says here, Deadpool and Wolverine is on track to make $450 million its opening weekend, one of the biggest successes of any superhero movie he's had in years. With Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman reprising characters along with a myriad of cameos and callbacks to earlier films audiences enjoyed, it shows that viewers will come in for nostalgia of the things they loved before the MCU became mired in identity politics-driven films and TV shows on Disney+. Ouch. One would expect Marvel Comics to know this movie would be hitting and to act accordingly with their publishing division to align the comics with events and give moviegoers a potential jumping on point for Deadpool and Wolverine. It would make sense if their objective were sales, but their objective is not sales. Like so many other characters, Deadpool will be replaced by a female character, Wade's daughter, in upcoming issues. Anyone coming into the comic shop excited about Deadpool and Wolverine movie being a throwback to classic male starring superhero films like the MCU used to have pre-2019 will get treated to seeing another strong female lead on the stands. So there's the image. Wade's daughter. New Deadpool. Now, this isn't new. Remember, they've tried this with Spider-Man. Spider-Man is, is probably the most iconic character out there, some would argue. Some would argue it's Superman. Some would argue it's Batman. But many people would say it's Spider-Man. And we all know Peter Parker is Spider-Man. But Marvel, being Marvel, has been for the last number of years been pushing... Miles Morales is Spider-Man. And to credit Nerd Roddick, Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Just like Wade Wilson is Deadpool. So Marvel announced this at Comic-Con, leaving fans scratching their heads as to why they're making this move. It goes one step further in the diversity department as Deadpool's daughter is a Latina. I got no, no beef with Latinas. No problem with Latinas. But if you're going to do this, create an entire new character. Why can't you create a new character? As the daughter of Carmelita Camacho, she doesn't even share Wade Wilson's last name. Now, this book is written by a Marvel Comics diversity hire named Cody Ziegler who worked in the writer's room at the MCU's greatest D-plus failure, She-Hulk, attorney at law, and has been writing the replacement Spider-Man character in Miles Morales as the company. That last line's a little confusing, but again, Miles Morales is not Spider-Man. 
Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Now to go on, this is a completely insane move for Marvel Comics editorial to do when they finally have a film people are excited about seeing. Now, if I owned a comic shop, I'd be upset. Because I would be looking forward to people coming into my shop looking for Deadpool comics featuring Wade Wilson as Deadpool, not his daughter. I mean, that's lost sales. That's lost revenue. That's the reason why comic shops are no longer comic shops, but you can find games and Funkos and you name it, not just comics. Because they can't sell comics. Well, they can sell comics. They're selling back issues. Comic shops can get a momentum and sales from a good Deadpool book, but instead they will lose out on any bump the movie could offer once again. This looks like when Marvel had its major characters replaced with minorities and females from 2014 to 2016 when the MCU was at its hottest. Despite movie success, Marvel comic sales were down significantly. Now, as they point out here, the only explanation that makes sense is that Marvel Comics editorial wants to force this agenda. They want to force DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Even at the expense of sales, hoping they can manipulate moviegoers who are enjoying a film with two white male leads into their DEI agenda by branding alone. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. And it's never worked before. And it's not going to work this time. Fans had the best leave. Fans had best leave Deadpool and Wolverine at the movies. So again, I'll say it one more time. You're in business to make money. You're in business to sell your product. You're not in business to push an agenda, to push the message, to push propaganda. Wade Wilson is Deadpool. Period. Not Carmelita Camacho. She's not Deadpool. So what do you guys make of this? You comic fans out there, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Share this video out there, with your, out there with your friends and family. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, thank you for watching. If you're a returning video viewer, also thank you for watching. You guys watching my videos, like, share, and subscribing. It helps out the channel. And with that, I will see you 